And with a lovely picturesque beam of sun laying across the box, we have in front of us August's Japan Crate. Now, I got an email a few days ago on the 20th of July saying that my crate had shipped. As you can see here, the, um, the date today is Tuesday the 23rd of July. That means this has somehow travelled from Japan to the UK in two days because I received this yesterday but didn't have time to make the video. I imagine this will be going up on the 24th of July, hopefully. Um, but yeah, interesting one. I, I just assumed the shipping thing was late, maybe, but I do not know. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's, it's the regular box as usual. It is the premium one. On the side we have all the social media things. Uh, on the back we just have very nice illustrations. And on the side, we have the website, which I shall link to in the description below. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Now, it's been, like, just just under two weeks, I think, since I got July's one. So, I don't know. That is a bit weird, but okay. Anyway, as usual, I'm not going to open it up. I am going to grab the uh, little booklet. And indeed, August 2019. I don't know if they've sent this to me especially early or something or by mistake but hey i'm not i'm not arguing is that japan crate chan because she has changed significantly doesn't she just have pink hair or something i cannot remember but there is japan crate kun her husband i think uh they're wearing their japanese attire i'm gonna take a very quick uh peek through here and i'll be right back Alright, so yeah, as usual we have a fold-out thing of all the snacks, but obviously I'm not going to show you that because that would kind of ruin the surprise. I almost opened up the thing whilst saying that. So I'm going to grab things and we'll go through them. Now, I thought I felt something that tasted like a very mini uh, milk carton, and it is indeed. It's apple sour. Apple, ooh, okay. Um, so in Britain we have uh, shots of alcohol called apple sours with the Zs, and they're not great, but they're very alcoholic or whatever. This, I'm assuming, is not. This is Sunful Apple Sour. Sunful, is that meant to sound like sinful? Okay, so you've... Okay, it says 30 here. It sounds like there are apple seeds inside. Of, is this just a carton of apple seeds? Okay, let's have a look. This is a DX Sour Pack, and apparently these are, um, they're full of yummy mints. They look like a milk carton, though, so they're meant to. Oh, well, Japanese drink cartons, obviously that one there says milk. Uh, this says apple. I guess this is meant to be apple juice, then, maybe. Uh, very cute, like, honestly, genuinely really cute. Only thing is, uh, I guess you can eat it from the bottom, wherever, because I wouldn't want to pull this off. Because you could keep this, surely, by, like, an android or, I don't know, a... Figma or a bigger scale figure. Ooh, right, let's grab sours. Okay, you know how I said that was missing the sours part? Well, this isn't, although this doesn't look like a drink, so. Instead, this looks like it's um, pineapple, because it's got a pineapple there, and that's, that's a pineapple segment. Okay, so these feel like gummy, I reckon. They're sour. Pineapple gummies is what I'm gonna guess. These are Sewell's Jewel uh, Jewel Pineapple, and yeah, they're they're from Okinawa. Uh, it's apparently the tropical paradise island of Japan, and um, yeah, these are like sour pineapple gum things. I'm gonna have one of these uh, actually at the end of the video just to test it out because I forgot to do that last time. But you know, I, I like to try. Oh, I feel high chew. This is indeed high chew. Oh, yo, is this banana high chew? Ooh, okay then. Banana Haichu. So, um, for those of you that don't know, Haichu is like... it's They're kind of like blocks of gum, but you can swallow them. They're not gum. They have the consistency of it, though. Um, yeah, right, okay. I'm going to go double-check what this is. All oh, right, so I kind of gave it away there, but this is indeed Haichu Banana. And apparently, in Okinawa, they they grow on the street and in people's gardens. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. I'm a big fan of um, banana flavoured things. Now a lot of people think it's not great, but I love me some bananas and I love me some fake bananas. Also love me some lips. Look at them lips. Okay, what? Ah, okay, this tells me even less. Oh wait, Jack, is she by chance Jill? Is Jack the company? Has he just sprayed it into his hair? 
Um, yeah, this is probably cherry flavoured lip gummy, I'm going to guess. Uh, let's see. This is Choo Choo, and uh, Choo Choo is the onomatopoeia, I believe, for kiss in Japan. Uh, in Japan? Well, yeah, in Japanese. And yeah, these are um, grape flavoured gummies, and you can also put them on your lips, or perfect red pouty lips. Now, I my lips are a lot bigger than that. Like, I, that is, if that's the size of your mouth, you are a tiny small baby person. Um, which, you know, if so, hello, uh, thank you for tuning in. I, I, you know, I appreciate that my videos appeal to everyone. Thank God I haven't fucking sweared yet. Uh, right, so we have lemon. I'm going to say this is lemon Kit Kat. Uh, Remon. Okay, so something in kanji and Remon. So... Very nice. Right, let's check out what exactly this is. So, these are Kit Kat Setoshi Lemon, and apparently Setoshi Lemons are ones that are grown in Hiroshima, in Japan. Um, and yeah, this sort of blend of chocolate, mild zest, and ultra-refreshing lemon. They're accented with salt from the Seto Inland Sea. Interesting, so this is one of our bonus items. Now, Unfortunately, the other bonus item is right above, so I'm not going to show you the rest of it, but... So I think there's three of them there, so I'm going to try and feel them out. I'll feel them later. Ooh, I feel some fish again. I do believe... Hey, two, uh, two crates in a row now we've had these weird fish things. The last time, if you remember, was the mayo one. I haven't tried that yet. I'm well behind on my snacks. I, uh... About three months behind, actually. I just don't eat snacks as much as these um, crates give me. Uh, yeah, so I do not know Kihi, ki, uh, uh, Sahi, I, I can't remember what that is, that's he. Um, yeah, this just looks like generic fish with maybe like barbecue kind of sauce. Let's have a look. This is Okonomiyaki Taro, and um, it comes from Osaka, apparently. It's like it's a... Pancake mixed with meat, vegetables, egg and sauce, and uh, it's covered in that. And apparently this particular fish thing is squid, fish and savoury delight. Uh, yeah, they're pretty nice. Like, they're very thin, but honestly, like, the amount of flavour you get in it, because obviously it's coated fish and stuff. Now, something's fallen out. I, we haven't done this yet. But okay, that was apparently what came out along with this fish thing. These feel like biscuits, but wait... They're hot, maybe, I think, the packaging looks like. That says cracker. Totsuke nimi? Totsuke mini. I think. I, I don't know what that means, but okay. Um, yeah. Looks like a small pack of um, biscuity things. They're maybe spicy, guessing from that colour scheme. These are grilled corn crackers, and hail from Hokkaido, apparently. Um, yeah, Hokkaido's known for its sweet corn. And, um, yeah, each of these are like sweet corn and soy sauce flavour crackers, so not spicy. Also, I'm picking up on the theme of uh, All Around Japan. I believe that's a Kit Kat as well. And I believe, did I feel another one? No, I didn't. I did feel this. Ooh, it's a chocolate bar, I think, of some kind. Uh, no, okay, it was meant to be that. Uh, that's cool. Guru something? I don't, that's kanji, so I can't read it. Okay, this is a, it's really light, like super light for some reason. Um, yeah, I'm going to guess it's like puffed corn covered in chocolate, maybe? This is Krobo stick, and um, it's a popular baked treat in Fukuoka. And yeah, it's um, brown sugar pastry. So it, it makes sense why it's so light, really, because it's just brown sugar puffed up and stuff. It's kind of cool, actually. This this is a snack I've never heard of before, so super looking forward to doing that. And I may do it in my snack review. That is our third and final lemon uh, Kit Kat thing, so I'll put that little bundle there. I'll pull out this thing. Oh, sorry. Wait, what? Okay. Um, I haven't even tried them yet. I'm sure they're lovely. There's no need to cry, little strawberry girl. What are you crying for? What does this say? Risa Guru to Karaka. Um, yeah, not sure. It looks like peaches, maybe. Is is the peach ghost golem thing trying to comfort the small strawberry child? I don't know. Okay, let's let's check out why this girl is sorry. These are Ichigo yogurt crackers, and uh, hail from Tochigi, Japan. 
And um, yeah, they're known for producing lots of strawberries, apparently. And these are strawberry and yoghurt crackers. That's a really nice sort of thing. I still don't understand why she's sorry, though. I, well, it, it's a Japanese reference, I'm sure. Anyway, my battery's running out soon, so I'm going to charge my battery and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. My battery is charging and we are going to delve straight in to uh, Poriki. Poriki. All right. Oh, yo, it's one of those lion things. You know, the statues they have of shrines. I can't remember their name. Um... Yeah, Poriki. Okay, so it looks like Pocky, but it's like savoury, I'm gonna guess. Uh, and it tastes of lion, which is very nice. I look forward to trying lion lion flavoured savoury sticks. Let's see exactly what these are, actually. Alright, I was wrong. These aren't savoury. They're Poriki brown sugar. And, um, yeah, they're, they're pretzel sticks, basically, the taste of sweet brown sugar. So... Interesting. Now, this is the first one, I think, that we don't have a location of uh, around Japan, so I don't know what's up with that. But I... Ooh. Oh. Ooh. This is confusing. This is... Is this one bar of Kit Kat? Like, it's it's one half of this. <laughs> um, cool. Okay. Cherries, maybe? I'm going to say cherries. Why is this one? How exclusive is this? Have a brick. Have a Kit Kat. Oh, Kit Kat chocolate tree. Very nice. Okay, right, let's see what this is then. This is Kit Kat Everyday Luxury, and there's three of them. And, um, yeah, so these are made in the Kit Kat chocolate tree, which is only in Japan, and um, they're topped with cranberries and almonds. Dear God, wow, I, I can see why they're, like, singular now, so, because, like, they are quite thick, uh, well, quite tall as well. That's... Pretty cool. So I'll be on the lookout for the other two there. Uh, whilst I do that, though, I will pull out some of these. Are they gumballs? Who knows? Nirokian? I don't know what that actually says. These are, oh, sort of chewing candy. I should have seen that. Um, yeah, they're, I'm going to guess, Ramune flavoured then. Uh, chewing candy. These are Korokan Soda Soft Candy. And yeah, they're um, sweet and sour in a soft round candy, basically. Very nice. Very in-fitting with the um, summer theme. Ooh. Oh, yo, Pocky. Hello. All right, then. Very nice. Um, I'm going to guess, I don't know why, it's coconut flavour, probably. I don't know what tells me that, though. I thought there was a chilli for a second. I was like, yo, please don't put chilli with coconut. I'm sure it would go well, but... Yeah, share happiness. <laughs> no. I have no happiness to begin with, and I will eat this box entirely on my own. Um, yeah, right, cool. I'll double-check exactly what this is, but I love me some Pocky. Shocking everyone, this is Coconut Pocky. And, um, yeah, they're uh, Pocky. You know where they are, obviously, if you're watching this. They're like biscuits uh, dipped in chocolate, but also with coconut flakes and Okinawa salt. Um, yeah, Okinawa, obviously, is a very is a seaside kind of place in Japan, so, you know, they get lots of seaside... Oh! Ooh! Well, so, is this... I, yeah, this is jelly, isn't it? Uh, yes, thank you, Mr. N. Cool. Right, uh, is it... It's moving slowly. Yeah, okay, yay, that's jelly. I don't know what, though. Is it just a pot of jelly? Ooh! Oh, yo, there's chopsticks. What? What madman eats jelly with chopsticks? Well, the people in Neriyame, apparently. Right, okay, let's check out what this is, then. <laughs> All right, it was wrong. Sorry, the name of the snack is Neriyame, and it's... Yeah, it's candy to spin and twirl like slime. So, I guess the, the Well, they aren't chopsticks, obviously, but you put them in and twirl them round, and... It's just liquid sugar. Okay, I, I, I appreciate... <laughs> I kind of appreciate it. But also, uh, you know, it it is just this liquid sugar. Oh, we got another one of the Kit Kats. And the third Kit Kat. Very nice. That is my pair of three. I think I win this card game. And I also win Pino. Strawberry Moon. Okay, Strawberry Moon. Ooh, it's by Mike or Mike. I think I've had something by them before. Wait, yeah, no, it's the... Um... Ah, I was about to say, it's popcorn. And it is. It's... 
feels like oh yeah these are popcorn obviously oh my god they literally show popcorn don't they so this is the um common uh, collaboration between frito-lay and morinaga clearly and um strawberry popcorn wow no actually i'm not a massive fan of popcorn but someone in my family fucking loves it so this is coming their way let's check out what exactly this is this is Mike's Pinot Strawberry Moon, and yeah, it's a um, it's a collaboration between Pinot Ice Cream and Frito Lay. Um, yeah, it it's sort of it's popcorn, or well, it's a caramel corn. Now I know that's big in America. I think or like Halloween stuff. Uh, over here, we don't really get that. We just get um, you know chocolate. Ooh, ah, oh, is this? Um, Oh yo! It's a um, it's a, it's like a ice, it's a fake ice cream thing with marshmallow. Oh man! So they they sell these over here in um, bakeries and stuff. Ah, uh, uh, these are like a part of my childhood. I used to love these. It's super unhealthy, obviously, because it's marshmallow and like a slightly sugared cone. Ah, oh, that's so cool though, and like it's in a very puffy thing, so it's airtight. Ah, oh, that's really cool. Right, let's check out exactly what this is then. This is Chocotto Soft, and yeah, it's a um, ice cream cone with marshmallow and chocolate cream. Very nice. I know it's simple and stuff, but yeah, as I said, this is just... Oh, it really does take me back to uh, being like five. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah, we have some something like Calbi. Yes, and the potato chips. Lobster potato chips, maybe? Okay. I don't think I've ever had anything lobster flavoured. Not massive into seafood. Like, I, I like seafood, but growing up I never did, so I never got into the habit of... Ooh, yay, 25 years. 25... I hope there's more than 25 potato chips, or else I'm, I'm conned. Yeah, guessing these are Calbi um, lobster potato chips, then. So these are Katage potato, shrimp and salt. Uh, and these hail from the Kina Island in Ehime. Oh, in the Ahime Prefecture, rather. And, um, yeah, so they're, they're actually uh, shrimp and salt, rather than lobster. I ca clearly can't tell my crustaceans apart. I guess they do look like shrimp, yeah, I don't know. Um, all right, yeah, that's, that's cool. That's as good as any, really. Uh, I'm going to grab the other thing, and then I think we have a good drink. Oh, yo! Oh! So I don't know what flavour this is. Ramune, I, I just read it. Yo, okay, so I'm going to try and put a picture on screen. Uh, around Halloween a few years ago, I bought the, like, well, the, the, the caramel corn one. is like orange pumpkin, maybe. These are addictive. These are amazing. Super unhealthy because they are covered in, in sugar and stuff. Ramune, like, well, they're like rice curls. Uh, I was going to say potato chips, but they're nothing like it. Wow, Ramune flavoured crispy snacks is something I have never tried, and I'm excited by this. All right, let's see exactly what this is, then. This is Ramune caramel corn, and, um, yeah, they're a Japan Crate family favourite, but um, they're a seasonal flavour of Ramune, which is really cool. And this is a big bag as well, like... The pumpkin one, I'm sure, lasted me about four or five days just because it was so strong you didn't want to eat much of it. This for sure is going to my um, an upcoming snack review. I don't know if it'll be the next one because I've filmed some stuff already. And our drink is Emerald Mountain. Oh, is this coffee? Yes, I believe it is. Now, I've had the yellow one. Um, I don't know. Oh, <gasps> holy sh... Is that Charles... Yo, that's Charles Zaku too, uh, from Gundam, Mobile Suit Gundam, if, if if that doesn't... Holy shit, because it's the 40th anniversary of Gundam this year, isn't it? I ha... <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing you can get cans of the different Gundam characters and stuff. RX-78 with Amaro would have been great, but I've got a can with oh, Char Aznabel and his Zaku too. Right, I don't think I'll be opening this. I think I might just keep this tin as it is. Yo, okay, okay. I could, I, I was gonna turn it around and be like, "Hey, Emerald Mountain's nice. I'll give it a try." Like the other ones, pretty strong coffee. But then, oh my boy, 
Char is such a cool character. Um, yeah. Wow. Okay. That, sorry, I'll, I'll stop staring at it now and find out exactly what this is. So this is Georgia Emerald Mountain Blend. And yeah, this is just canned coffee, really. Um, smooth coffee blend. And yeah, these limited edition cans feature a collectible Gundam design, like the giant model you might find in Odaiba, the giant Gundam. There we are, yeah. So as I said, so there's obviously Amaro and RX-78 there, which is cool. You know, I, I'd have loved that as well. Oh, but man. Oh, that is cool. And I know it's literally a graphic on a can and there's probably millions of these made and this is in no way collectible, but... Oh, that, that was a great little surprise to end this off. I think... I think there may be gum at the, in the box here. Let me double check. There usually is, but there's not this month. All right then. What is inside this month? Uh, oh, we've got... Um, yeah, she's she's playing guitar. Uh, everyone's loving it. There's a pumpkin-headed guy who looks a bit like Pumpkin Mon, and there's you no know, just reminded me of when him and Gotu Mon died. Um, and she's very happy. And then, oh, they're hugging or something. And they're, I'm not even sure who the hell these people are meant to be. Some panels up there as well. I guess it's like their ongoing manga or something. Have they started their own manga? Like, well, not manga, but you know what I mean. Illustration in the box? Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to go organise this into a nice, um, presentable style, and I shall be right back. All right, I am back, and I've um, put everything in a more decorative thing. Got to say, this month has been pretty darn good. Now, I did promise... I would have one of these sour things at the end, so I'm going to rip it open. Uh, it's resealable, which is always nice. Uh, kudos to a lot of Japanese snack makers there for doing that. Right, anyway, so yeah, they're little bits of... Whoa! Whew, the smell of pineapple was intense! Okay then. Right, let's give it a try. Hmm, that was really nice, and not sour, really. <laughs> yeah, the... There was like a really crunchy, crunchy large bits of sugar on it and stuff. And it was like, it's quite tough, but it's quite nice. It's like the right kind of tough. And yeah, it was just very pleasantly pineapple -y. Like, there's a tiny, tiny tang after it, but I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say this is sour in any way. But pretty darn nice snack. If you like pineapple, uh, yeah, I, I pretty much recommend this. I think it's probably one of the best pineapple sweets I've ever had. Yeah. So overall, this has been a really darn cool month. There's um, quite a few things I'm looking forward to trying. The shrimp uh, things, all of the Kit Kats sound really cool. We'll come back to the cam for a sec in a second. So there are Mune um, curls. Very, very interested to try that. Really nice to have some Pocky um, as well. That doesn't appear much, actually, I've realised. And Pocky is like standard weeb snack kind of thing. It's, you know, it's where you want to sell things on. And yeah, I've got to, yet again, just say how darn pleased I am with that. I know Gundam isn't the focus on this can, but that's that's really made this for me. Um, and yeah, that, that about wraps it up. Thank you very much for watching. As I mentioned, I will be putting up snack reviews um, back and forth. I was going to put one up between last uh, snack box and this snack box, but obviously this arrived a week after the last one, so hey. Uh, I'll leave, as usual, I'll leave a um, playlist for like my other playlists and videos and stuff. And until next time, goodbye. Wait, hang on, don't leave yet. Um, I've just realised actually this might be my last Japan Cray video for a while. Um, I've cancelled my subscription for a while, N nothing, nothing to do with the snacks or whatever, you know, fantastic things. Um, but I am kind of looking into moving house and things like that. And honestly, I kind of want to cut back on as many costs as I can. But don't worry, if you do want to see more subscription box things, I have subscribed to a new one I'm going to try for like two months. See how that one goes, I'm not going to spoil what it is, but you'll see it in the next few weeks. But yeah, anyway, I won't be doing Japan Crate for a a few months probably and I'll probably come back to it but yeah until next time actually goodbye